One of the areas that we do quite a bit of work is in Canada. This is a resort community, one that had uh, been developed to a point and just for whatever reason, the clubhouse was there and the boat docks and it just remained stagnant for quite a while. There's some existing lots and some existing developments and what they wanted to do was really create something that was more what we would consider a mini home development. Now what's interesting apparently uh, that many homes aren't really legal in Canada so this is a Canadian supplier of homes. These are actually trailers. These are wheeled in just like you would uh, trailer behind a truck and but essentially they're a mini home and we developed this community around this concept uh, where we tr we'll try to, again, uh, by using our pullback methods and things that we've talked about in some of these other examples, uh, maximize the view of the homes. And you can see we're staggering them. Uh, these are the actual homes. There's a lot of windows along the sides, which are ideal for this panoramic view. And you can start seeing the tree line trails and following them throughout the site. So what we really wanted to do was uh, minimize the pavement like we always do. Uh, parking is alongside. The parking is exposed. There's no carports or anything. You can see a community center with uh, tennis courts uh, that would be built. Uh, so that would be proposed. And, uh, you know, trying to get this shaping and this, this uh, concept of using the different methods that we would normally use with any housing development and apply that to these mini homes. So this is like an overall view of the neighborhood. As we start venturing further away from the lake, there's a lot of these homes that wouldn't have a lake view or wouldn't have a pond view. So we try to give them different areas of open space. Now the existing road that you can see this, this one in the front, that actually exists. So we had to design around that. And again, you can see the homes flaring at an entrance. We would do that on any single family neighborhood. But when we talk about a resort property, we're more concerned about the pedestrian access, the pedestrian experience in these neighborhoods. And we're, we're concerned about that in every neighborhood, but when you're in a resort property, what you really want to do is you want to be outside experiencing the site. You wouldn't be in the homes all that much. We have more of a community here. Now, as we walk through this development, you'll see on occasion, a view of the lake. Now, what we did was we just have a small portion of the lake in the 3D. As we go up on top of the hill, it's easier to get the lake views, but you can see the property drops off. Now, these homes that you see right in front of you, those are existing. There were some cabins that had been built. Now, this study was amongst quite a few studies that we did on the site of different various types of housing. Uh, the final uh, determination hasn't been done at the time of this recording, but I thought this one was more interesting to give you a variety of the things that we can design here at our studio. There's a tennis court, so those are uh, proposed. Uh, they, they are not existing. And um, as we uh, go further, there's the existing clubhouse and the docks. Uh, you can see just a little bit of it right there. Um, so that exists and the lake is massive. So it's, it's a really nice property. What you're looking at here is a combination of existing and proposed topo. So we did run the proposed contours on much of the site, but it mostly this is the uh, natural terrain that we try to hold uh, on the site. And it worked out quite well. The, uh, these homes are, are very nice on the inside and each one of these homes were maximizing on the view from within the home.